Ground source heat pumps use a set of pipes buried in your garden to extract heat from the ground. The pump compresses this heat to raise its temperature and uses it to heat the air spaces and water in your home. Paul Goodwin and his wife Lynn from Stirlingshire in Scotland installed a ground source heat pump after having their first baby. It's a fantastic addition to the house in terms of providing energy for us at low cost and as you see from a day like this, uh, we're probably the only people in the country who are not worried about what our energy bills are going to be. This is basically the system. Uh, it's very straightforward. Uh, we have a, a large water tank. The hot water is gathered in there and it's really fed from an expansion tank and these lead out to four pipes that go outside underneath the ground and that's in two loops, two loops of 300 metres and it's sending um, this stuff here which you would recognise in your car as, as antifreeze, it's glycol so it's a kind of blue liquid and it comes back uh, and brings heat into the hot water. You have a drum of antifreeze which you buy commercially. The antifreeze costs about £7 so we got that when we got the thing installed and we've still got some, so it doesn't really use an awful lot up. It's only been topped up maybe once a year. There was no planning permission required, um, so from that point of view it was, it was, it was easy to, to facilitate. It, it was a, a process that was not much different from getting uh, a normal boiler installed. Uh, the only bit that was different is that you had a, a JCP in your garden, uh, digging a garden up. So once that part of it was done, fitting the boiler and connecting it and making it, testing it and everything, we just took like a day, day and a half. The good thing about the ground source heat pump is that you, you can produce enough energy. There's not a major difference at all from moving from oil to, to the ground source heat pump. There was virtually no noticeable difference in terms of the output. And one of the main benefits is that when you actually touch any of the fabric in the building, the walls or anything of the wood, it's warm because it's on all the time. A ground source heat pump can give you big savings in money and in carbon terms especially when installed in a well-insulated house that's not on the gas network. Installing a heat pump can cost around seven to £12,000, but there are grants and offers available to help you reduce this cost. Check the Energy Saving Trust website for more details. On the surface, £12,000 seems an awful lot of money to, to pay for a heating system, but we got £3,000 grant from the Scottish, the Scottish Government. We got a scheme through Energy Saving Trust, which uh, brought the cost down quite considerably. If you factor in payback from the savings in terms of oil uh, and electricity, you're, you're definitely going to, to, to make a saving. So I don't think it's too expensive. I think the technology is only new in the UK. When I investigated it, I found that in Scandinavia, for example, they've been using this for you know, 50, 60 years. So they've certainly got a track record. We've been really excited in this journey that we've taken, uh, looking at new technologies, and um, we've bought some land, in the process of buying some land, uh, moving not far from here, and we want to try and um, get to the next step where we've got uh, more technologies of this, this nature getting installed uh, and trying to get to a place where we're virtually a carbon neutral uh, development and hopefully be one of the first carbon neutral houses in Scotland.